show you guys what it looks like when I walk outside of my house. It is just like every single morning I walk out of my house and I take a huge, this is what I do every morning, I'm not even kidding. I take a huge, huge, huge deep breath. <sighs> and I just practice gratitude for waking up to this. Waking up, I mean, it doesn't do it justice the way that the sky looks right now, but. Uh, do you ever just take a second to just look at your surroundings and be really grateful because it's just the best way to start the day honestly mm. Good morning guys. It is July 16th it is a Tuesday and I'm actually at the gym What is a gym? What is a gym? No, I'm kidding. Um, but No workout class today for breakfast um, what I ate was homemade banana bread, which I will be giving you guys the recipe, but I have to perfect it. It was a little bit hard. Um, I want to perfect it. So, but it's sugar free, no added sugar. Um, so that's why I added some raw honey to the top and I had about like, you know, not a full slice of the bread, um, just because I don't like to work out with too much of my stomach, so I had about a little bit more than half a slice of the bread. And then on the way here, I sipped on my vegan BCAAs from One Up Nutrition, as well as a half a scoop of the One Up Nutrition pre-workout for women. It's a fat-burning workout, uh, has L-carnitine. It really gets me like sweaty and um, just like really in the zone too. I love that pre-workout because it makes you it puts you in the fucking zone. And that's the type of pre-workout that I really like. So I'm not gonna film my warm up. So for my warm up, what I'm gonna be doing is about five to 10 minutes on the Stairmaster, just to warm up my legs, nothing crazy. And then I'm going to just activate my hamstrings and my glutes and my shoulders because I'm gonna be doing a hamstring and shoulder workout today. So I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of cable work, a little bit of band work um, for my warm up just to warm everything up to activate the muscles that I want to fire when I go in to do my compound movements my lifts I'm just going to try to be in and out of here in like an hour 75 minutes at, at the most and at that hour and 15 minute mark if I still have more to do I'm gonna get out of there I'm gonna leave um, because you don't need to be working out for an hour and a half to two hours you don't need to I'm gonna be doing minimal rest i'm going to be really efficient um that's the way that you should be working out it's i'm going to burn the most calories that way i'm not going to be sitting there dilly dallying on my phone um so i am going to get in the gym and i will see you for my first exercise so see you in there so this was my first workout of the day my first exercise after my warm-up and i wanted to leave this in here raw for you so you could see how slow i am going i have a pretty strong band above my knees and i am keeping constant tension on my glutes my head is not looking up i am not overextending i'm tucking my chin in and i'm basically doing like a romanian deadlift essentially with a bar on my back instead of having the weight in front of me i have a soft Soft knee here and I am just going down until I feel the stretch in my hamstring and I like pause for a second as you can see and then I push through my heels and I just am keeping constant tension I'm not squeezing super hard at the top I am just really feeling the burn in my glutes and if you keep constant tension like this you will really feel it so much more I only have 10 pounds on each side I'm not going super heavy here I really like to just feel the movement and feel my glutes being very very fatigued So immediately after my good mornings, I grab a 25 pound plate and I don't have any specific amount of reps that I am doing here. I have a shorter range of motion because I wanted to keep constant tension on my glutes. And once again, this is just raw footage for you to see. I am just going up and down really quickly, pulsing and having that constant tension right on my glutes. And I'm going until pretty, not until failure, but I'm just like doing like, you know, t about 20 to 25 reps, not really counting, just going until I feel fatigued. And this is right after the good mornings. And then for my shoulder exercise, I am going to do 10 lateral raises, 
10 front raises and then I go right back to my 10 laterals and 10 front so 20 of each so I had a larger compound movement for my legs my hamstring and my glutes and then I am doing um, kind of like an accessory movement here I'm not doing a compound movement for my shoulders I'm saving that for my next exercise so I'm prioritizing the compound movement for my legs followed by a smaller movement for my shoulders and then vice versa when I when I go do my compound movement for my shoulders then and I take it pretty light for my legs, so I'm having a good balance here. Now this is my first compound movement for shoulders. This is my favorite shoulder exercise. This is how really I've built my shoulders with presses and with lateral raises. That's my secret. And I love standing barbell military press because it really helps me engage my core as well. A lot of people ask me how I have such a strong core and it's because I don't use belts when I'm squatting or deadlifting or pressing or doing any big compound movements. I really am engaging my core. And I want to point out if you can please look at my my legs when I'm doing this maybe you have to rewind it I am NOT using my legs to catapult the weight up I am really only using my shoulders my goal here was 10 reps but I didn't have a spot and I was so so incredibly sore so I think I got about seven to eight and I did four sets of the shoulder press and then right after I wanted to leave it very raw once again so you could see the resting time I did not rest very long I didn't grab my phone I didn't waste time I rested for I don't know 10 15 seconds and then I went straight into barbell Bulgarian split squats I hate this exercise and that is why I do this exercise because it is hard and I did 10 reps each leg and I did four rounds of this superset so four rounds of the shoulder press and then going right into my Bulgarian split squats I did go lighter here from for, for my Bulgarians because this was kind of like my secondary movement for my glutes I really wanted to prioritize my shoulders in this set and then just hit my glutes a little bit with kind of lightweight but doing Bulgarian split squats with a barbell is not easy even though I don't have much weight here you have to do a lot of balance I'm engaging my core it's just a such a good full body exercise this whole set this whole exercise is so good the shoulder press and the Bulgarians so good for your total body for your core for everything it is a killer now for my second compound movement for legs I'm doing barbell hip thrust I am so sorry for the angle of the video here. I didn't have anyone to film me, so I just had to do what I could do. And I am doing, oh gosh, I don't even remember. I think I just did 10 reps, and I just want you to see the tempo. I am holding and pausing a little bit at the top, just really fluid motions. I'm keeping my chin tucked. I want you to look at my face right now. My chin is tucked. I'm not overextending my back and looking up at the ceiling. My chin is tucked. I'm pushing through my heels. And then I do 10 reps and then I put the weight down. You'll see. And then I take five big deep breaths and then I do another five reps where I am holding. This sucks. It's so hard, but it's so good for your glutes. These last five reps where I am holding, I really want you to pay attention. I am holding until my glutes are just on freaking fire. And I'm just doing five reps here just as a finisher. And I did this for four rounds. So every single set I did this, the 10 reps, the five second rest, and then I went into five more holding pause reps. Now for a superset, I am hitting my shoulders. I have a band around my legs. I also had a band around my legs when I was doing the hip thrust, but here I am using my legs to kind of squat and press so I can engage both my shoulders and my glutes and my legs, my quads, my everything. I did do a leg workout the day before this, so my legs were so sore. Oh my God, I was dead. Now this is the last exercise I did. This was my warm up set, so it's, that's why I don't have a lot of weight on and I'm not doing very many reps just because this was my warm up set, but I'm just doing a machine shoulder press. And then 
The next exercise after this is another one that I hate so much and that's why I do it. It is the Prowler Sled Push and I do it from two different range of motion. So the, the first way down, I am holding the Prowler Sled at the lowest point. So I'm really having to extend my legs and really focus on my glutes. And then on the way back down, I am pushing it like the normal way where it's engaging more of my quads. So I'm hitting all of my legs here and there is is two 45 pound plates on the prowler and the prowler which is the sled that I don't know how much that weighs but it does weigh something so pushing this is not like I can just like go and sprint it is really heavy it's so hard I did four rounds of this yeah I was I was toast Oh my God, that leg workout was so good. I started my workout, my first set at 7.55 and I was done with my last set at 9.05. So perfect timing. Your leg days do not need to be an hour and a half to two hours. They don't need to. Like, yes, if you're doing warm ups and a cool down, then yeah, it could be about an hour and a half, but there's no need to have it be over an hour and a half for your lifting session. So I'm gonna get home now and make some egg whites and oatmeal I don't really know what I'm gonna make um, but you will see the finished product I am starving and I cannot wait to get some carbs in this body okay it is breakfast time so I have a cup of egg whites here seasoned with everything but the bagel some cherry tomatoes I have to have tomatoes and egg whites and then I just have salt and basil on the tomatoes and then I have some gluten-free oatmeal blueberries and granola mm, and of course my water listening to a podcast all right so i just had breakfast it was so good i'm actually so full um and i forgot to tell you the oatmeal i did add one tablespoon of chia seeds i add chia seeds whenever i can because they're a great source of fiber they really stimulate your digestion and they help keep you full so i'm very satisfied very full um so i'm gonna walk jump in the shower put myself together and then do my little morning routine where i meditate for 10 to 15 minutes do some journaling and then get on my call at 12 so i probably won't see you until lunchtime around one o'clock hey i wanted to update you on something really quick it's only noon so it's not lunchtime yet i'm still in my robe i'm about to get on a phone call so this clip has to be very fast but i have this new green drink that i drink it doesn't taste good so i'm just gonna get that out of the way but Moringa. This is, it's literally almost, I mean, I don't think I even have one more scoop. It's, I had to pick, go pick some up today. So clearly I have been using this. Um, it is more nutritious than kale. It has two times the protein, three times the calcium, four times the iron, 2.5 times the fiber than kale. It is an organic, pure uh, vegetable powder, green superfood, tons of um, calcium, iron, and fiber. I either drink this on its own like this, or I will put it in my protein smoothie and it kind of hides it a little bit what I do is I do one heaping tablespoon of the moringa powder I do one dropper of liquid ashwagandha I do two droppers of CBD I do the juice of a lemon and then I grate fresh ginger and it is my greens drink and it gives me so much energy and it's like a natural drug I swear to god it makes me feel so good like so good The taste isn't terrible. I Maybe I'm used to it, but it's not like a yummy drink, but it's so good for you. I gotta go, I gotta call my potential client, and then I will check in with you a little bit later for lunchtime. All right, I'm still in my robe. <laughs> it is 1.30, and I've already eaten a couple egg whites. I've just been, what I wanted today for lunch was hard boiled eggs. I don't know. I crave it, so I eat it. I still have to put myself together today, but the beauty of working from home is I can do this for as long as I want. I haven't had a day like this in quite some time. Um, after my greens drink, I wasn't really hungry, but I was like in that in-between where it was like, yeah, I could eat. So it was like, I couldn't concentrate on work fully because like I was kind of sort of hungry. So I'm having a lighter meal 
it's gonna be a higher fat meal, so the carbs are lower. Um, but I listen to my body, and if I'm not feeling super hungry, and I know that I'm gonna have a couple hours of just sitting at my desk, I'm not gonna like have a huge, huge, huge meal. So I'm just listening to my body right now, and this is what I'm having. So in total, I've already eaten a lot of the egg whites, but I'm having four egg whites, hard boiled egg whites, and some avocado toast. I have half of an avocado, tomato, beets, hemp hearts and broccoli sprouts and then a little bit of avocado left over that I'm gonna eat with my egg whites. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm actually gonna put myself together. All right, let's see how the girls did alone. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, hello. Look at you ladies. Oh, the excitement. No poop, no pee. So, to give you guys some backstory, I just went to Vitamin Shop, and usually I put Bailey away in her crate, and then Luna I will leave out, because Luna's good. If she has to pee, she'll go on one of the puppy pads. We do leave those there, because her little tiny little bladder is just, is just extra. So, to avoid any accidents when I leave the house, I always put one of those down, but Bailey, sometimes out of spite will be naughty. But I will say, I'll give her some props because ever since we moved into this house, she has not had one accident. So I'm proud of you, Bail. We'll go out in a second. Um, I wanna show you guys what I got at Vitamin Chop. This is the best investment of a purse I've ever made. This is my first Gucci bag and Oh my God, I'm telling you, like I thought I loved Louis Vuitton. I thought Louis was like my bae, but honestly, this bag is the perfect size for me. It just holds everything perfectly. I just, I, I'm obsessed. I love it so much. <sighs> I used to be really into like big humongous bags and this is just perfection. Okay, went to vitamin shop because the gas station did not have the bang that I wanted. So that's the real reason why I went. Um, I got two bangs. I drank this on the car ride home. This is my new favorite flavor, purple guava pear. It's so good. It's not too fruity in my opinion. I just, I love pear and that's really what it tastes like. So I drank all of that and then I got this just to have in the house. Um, and then I got more Moringa because as you saw today I was out and I really love this stuff. And then I got some lemon essential oil, which I'm going to put in my diffuser right here. And I got some more ashwagandha. So this is the pill form. So what I do is first thing in the morning, I'm usually too tired to vlog in the morning because I get up so early. So what I do when I first, first, first wake up is I take this along with my pro and my prebiotic. The first thing I do when I wake up, I drink a ton of water. I take one pill of ashwagandha, my pro, my prebiotic, drink as much water as I can, and then I have my coffee. And when I have my coffee, I just make it in the Keurig and I add one teaspoon of maca powder. Maca powder is a root vegetable that is a powder. Um, it is, um, it's a Peruvian superfood and it supports your like cardiovascular health, your endurance and your energy. So that's why I love to have that first thing in the morning. And then I go into my fridge and I do a splash of this Khalifa almond milk. This is the best kind, the toasted coconut, uh, coconut almond milk blend, best kind you can get. I did get this too to try it. I'm not a big creamer person. I usually on it. I'm usually a black coffee drinker, and as of recently, I've been adding almond milk. But I bought this, the almond milk creamer. Um, I think it's roasted pecan or something. And I don't know. I'm not a fan. Brian really likes this, but I. I, I don't know, I'm not a creamer person. I just like a little dash of milk. Um, and then I just add stevia and cinnamon to my coffee. Hey pups. Hmm. All right. Time to 
finish editing this vlog, which you guys have already seen by now, I hope, but this is a 33 minute vlog with three different crock pot recipes where I teach you how to repurpose them all. So what I'm gonna do right now, just so you can see the back, like behind the scenes of what I do, I have pretty much edited all of it as far as I know. Um, I have the music behind it, I have the little you know, words on the screen, but I wanna make sure it all flows together and if there's any clips that I can like delete so it's not so long, but this is a three recipe vlog and I teach you how to repurpose all the recipes. So it is quite long because I go in depth. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, so I'm gonna now sit and re-watch this. So 33 minutes of watching myself. It's kind of like awkward. I hate this part, but it is essential just to make sure you guys get a good video. And as I sit here and edit, I have a very random meal, but I'm a little hungry. I have half a cup of quinoa, I have some ground chicken, um, ground chicken instead of ground turkey because I'm trying to eat more fat. I have tahini, which is sesame seed paste essentially, sesame seed butter <laughs> pretty much, um, another great fat source, shredded lettuce because I like the crunch and the freshness, and then lemon juice, salt, and curry powder. So I am going to eat this, it's uh, 4.38. So dinner is going to be around 7 o'clock, so I didn't want anything too big. Okay, I don't know if you guys care about the behind-the-scenes stuff that I do in my business. So if you don't care, maybe just let me know, <laughs> and I won't film this stuff. But I just created my thumbnail for my YouTube video on Canva, and now I am just waiting for it to export to my desktop. It is a 32 minute video, so it's gonna take a little while. So I have the thumbnail done, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an email that's gonna go out to my list on Thursday morning, letting you guys know about this vlog. And my computer's being very slow, so I guess you're not gonna see MailChimp, but I use MailChimp for my email list building. I really love it. It's so easy. Email lists are so important. If you have a business, um, I highly recommend it because you own the people that subscribe to your email list. So God forbid Instagram ever gets shut down or your account gets hacked. If you have emails in your list, then you own those people. So I am going to do a quick little email to remind you guys on Thursday that you have to watch this video because it's going to be so beneficial for you. All right, my YouTube video is uploading as we speak. I have created my email that is gonna go out on Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so I just like to get ahead of the game. And I wanted to show you because I created all of this, like this image, I create all this in Canva. Um, this is where I do all of my images for my email list, for Instagram, for YouTube, um, like um, thumbnails. So I created these these images here to make my email look pretty. Um, I also created this in Canva. I created this in Canva, just so you guys know. I don't know if I talked about it in this video, but I have opened up enrollment for my 60 days to emerge. It's a group training program. Oh yeah, I think I did mention it. Um, we start on the 29th and it's not gonna reopen again for another like two, two and a half months. So if you want to get in shape for the rest of the summer and really learn how to eat for your body, what to eat, and really just like overcome your poor food relationship and all that kind of stuff. These are some of the transformations that I have made for my clients, incredible. Um, but just showing you kind of the back end stuff of my business that nobody gets to see, only my clients, because um, if you aren't interested in starting a business or you currently have a business, you need an email list. Oh, God. You really, really do. Like I cannot stress that enough. You need to be putting out at least one newsletter a week and I teach my clients exactly how to do so, how to make it pretty, how to play with Canva, um, so how to use buttons, you know, just all the stuff. So I am going to go ahead and get this scheduled. You can schedule this 
Um, you can do emails and schedule it ahead of time. So I'm gonna schedule this out. And then my next order of business is to type out all of the recipes that are in my YouTube video. I'm gonna type out all the recipes in the description box so you guys can find my recipes easily. So I'm gonna sit here and do that while my video is uploading. Hey guys, I forgot to film an outro clip. So I am just here to say goodbye. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I have not shared a workout in quite some time. If you wanna to continue to see my videos, please do not forget to subscribe and I will see you soon for the next vlog. Bye.